Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the Tangle Core from Beth Snodderly. Uh, so I was, uh, well, the time of this recording, it's December 3rd. And uh, for the December Tangles, I call it Festivus Tangulus. And um, Instead of just December 2023 tangles. Um, <laughs> and I'm looking for things that are festival-ish. Festive. Period. So this one I thought fit the bill, fit the bill from Linda's uh, little thumbnail. And then when I look at the, the step out, I'm like, oh, this has a lot, a lot, other, a lot of other uses other than what I had just seen on her step out. So... Because it all depends on how you decorate it. Okay, so this one is neat. And I think I'll do it on the diamond. Um, starts off with essentially uh, a rectangle-ish type of uh, <laughs> object. But with, say, you know, uh, caved in uh, edges. So I'm starting it with a little bit of a curve line. And, you know, this, of course, is going to be how much do you want to play with it? right? And then cap it off at the top like so. And then just keep stacking them. So of course you have to come in just a little bit um, from the edge, but that's okay. And then just kind of curve it out however you want. And then, well, and look at this one is making a turn. Let's go with it. Okay. Then, then we'll see if we can. Oh wow! <laughs> Let's see if we can uh, curve it the other way. I don't know how to do that, but we'll see if we can make it happen. Oh yeah, like that. <laughs> Ooh, the wonkiness abounds, and so I've got kind of a straight edge. But you know what? It doesn't matter, does it? No, it doesn't. All right. Let's see if we can uh, curve this <laughs> some more. Well, you know, if you make one longer than the other. Psh, there we go. Well, I might have to do something on the other side. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. So, <laughs> uh, that's it on the wonky side. I should probably, you know, well, this one is so easy. It's it's not going to matter. I, well, I don't think anyway. Oh, wait, here, let's. Wait, if I've done this this way. Um... Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to think about it. All right. Never mind. I was going to do like another one up here, but it's like, well, but I've done that one. Never mind. All right. So this is pretty much where she ends on the, on the step out, just making a bunch of these and, and have it go like in a straight line. I made mine go wonky. Well, actually, apparently uh, well, looking at her step out this, the sample, uh, there, none of them are, are wonky on hers. So I've gone rogue again, <gasps> twice in so many days. Mm. <laughs> What's wrong with me? No, I'm just kidding. I know I have some bad influences, bad air quotes. Um, all right, so let's have fun. Let's 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 make this one a party. So uh, the one that Beth has in the center, she put coming out of. The, oh no, actually, let me take this back one step because I noticed in. I don't know if I noticed it, it was in hers or in Linda's. Here's just something you can do. If you want to make it look a little 3D. So it's it's very minuscule acme, acme hole concept, we'll say that. So thickening on this edge, just like that. So I'm just, I'm just kind of, oh, there you can kind of see the little hole in there, right? So just like rounding on both sides. And it, then it kind of makes up for the... Well, look at how that one's going to be big. Okay. Rounding-ish, we can call it. Because you could scoop it if you wanted to. I kind of made mine straight. But look at what the difference that made. Just that. That's it. And I have to fix... Wait, where'd it go? Where'd it go? I'm looking in the camera and then I'm looking back down. I'll have to find it. There we go. Okay. That was bugging me. But just that little bit. This is, this is why I get... I'm so enamored... 
continually, it never gets old with Zentangle. Not being an art person, you know, um, I found art through this. And um, it, when it's something just so simple like that, it's like I said, anyway, I go on, I go on. All right, so, <laughs> and on and on. All right, then I'm going to just put some little... You could put a fancy fescue in there if you wanted to. I'm just going to put like a, a little bit of a sort of a spiral, right? And you just want to make sure to do it however your hand likes to do it. Oh, I think I'm going to leave it this way. Because, you know, oh, actually on my version of the step out, I did that and then I added and why not? Well, well, no, let me wait and do that last because you could put more than one of these coming out. They can come out different lengths. Same length. <laughs> Whatever you want. <laughs> right? And then, I mean, because on mine... Well, I'll just tell you, I put just some little, uh, flick line, flick lines, you know, where we just kind of do like that. I still can. They just don't have to go with anything. It's just like, oh, it's a party. It's exploding. <laughs> All over the place. And then, now you could decorate these if you wish to. I think I'm going to, I'm going to let the party be outside of the, outside of the bag. Cause it does, it looks like a, st a stack of bags, doesn't it? Um, actually, let me start with one side. We'll do some shading and then we might put some other celebratory things out here on the side. I don't know. I have to have something coming out the top though, or I can extend the top. So many options, so many options. All right. And I love, and even if you did this, you know, going straight up, um, I love the fact that it doesn't, uh, it doesn't matter um, how perfect or imperfect your um, rectangle, caved in rectangles are. It's going to look just really, really neat. I love these. The, I mean, it's whimsical. And I, that's what I love about the whimsy is that it really helps to um, <laughs> eliminate, I guess, um, or it gives opportunity to not worry about things being perfect. And it, it allows for play. And um, that is one of the, the nice things about Zentangle is that I was... Uh, I have a a group, a, a senior uh, living facility that I uh, go teach at a couple times a month. Look at that! Oh my gosh! And and that was and somebody was remarking about about that because they were they were new to it and they just like that. You know, and it's, that's the hardest concept I think to get is that you don't. It doesn't have to look like what I'm doing. I'm just showing you. You know, here's an example. And if you go you know, a different direction, it's all right. And, uh, and that, that was what they were remarking because in, you know, it, all through school and whatnot, you know, we're taught, oh, that it, like as if there's just one way to do anything. And, uh, it's just so fun. It's just so fun and just, and fun to explore. Okay. I've done this lopsided. Oh, I don't know what else to do with it, but we could add another one. We could just have it going off, couldn't we? Off the page. Nobody will know where the party ends. <laughs> and the other nice thing is, yeah, so you thought you were done? Meh. You can add another. I could have it come back all the way around if I wanted to. And now I can feel I can add, well, not necessarily there. And we'll add little sprigs. And, okay, so here's what I was thinking. 
We'll do some. <laughs> it's a party. <laughs> it's coming out the top. Right here. Just on that side. Apparently. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, let's get that shading on that top one done. It looks like it's naked, doesn't it? And, <laughs> and I, I made the graphite kind of on purpose a little bit darker down at, you know, these places right here where it's, you know, looks like it's tucking in or could look like it's tucking in. It's up to you. Okay. The other side does need something. Yeah. It's lighter on this side. And you know what? If we're going to have a party, psh, why not add some red sparkles with this? What is this? Is the Jelly Roll Red Stardust. Okay, because I have it handy. Oh, and this is the sparkle pop pen. Oops, it doesn't want to. Oh, there we go. There we go. Some of these, especially the jelly rolls, are real nice when they're especially juicy. That you can um, just, you know, just touch them on the paper. And, and see where they go. I don't know, that might be good enough, but let's, but, but not really. Oh, do I not have a green? What? It's probably just somewhere here. Let me see if this one works. Okay. That's better. This is a green metallic. <laughs> um, I have way too much fun. Uh, and that's okay, right? Because <laughs> if you can't have fun with this, what's the point, right? All right, and we'll add some purple. I don't know why, but... Okay, it's just colorful. <laughs> Oh my goodness. That needed some up there. Oh, it needs. Okay. Oh. Gotta have some coming out the top that, you know, otherwise. All right. So that was a lot of fun. <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed it. Oh. <laughs> we can make anything a party in Zentangle, right? Yes, we can. Absolutely. All right. Zipping up my toolkit. Ah, uh, what fun. Well, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. <laughs> I hope you laugh along with me. Oh, you can laugh at me. I, I, I wouldn't know. Um, and it's okay. Uh, but do take a look at the For More Inspiration link so you can see the other uses. Because if you can, you know, just picture the structure, um, there's a lot of other ways that this could be used besides for a party. All right. Um, I also, again, have my own version there in the description section. Also, ways to connect with me if you wish. But before you do that, if you enjoyed it, would love it if you click on the like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, uh, would love to have you um, belong to the, the the party, the subscriber party, and um, and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate that. Feel free to leave comments, uh, you know, like, share, subscribe, all of that. Um, and so in the description section, continuing... Uh, ways to connect with me if you wish, if you enjoy my style, um, come and join us online for lots more fun. Um, I do classes twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays, normally, unless, you know, especially during holiday time, I have schedule issues. Uh, and then we just do our best to find a way to, to make it work. So we all get our proper fixes in and it's all good. Um, so you can uh, f follow me on uh, via my website, uh, follow my blog there. If you happen to be on Facebook, you can follow my page. I have a link there as well as to our Tangle Addicts community group page. Uh, if you want to join in uh, the fun, essentially 24-7 when everybody's on, uh, come and join us. There are four questions, just so you know, uh, to gain entry. 
uh, to that group. So um, what else do I have there? Link there, there. Um, on my website, if you if you want information on, on classes, uh, there's a link in the, the big pink menu section, uh, information there. Uh, a lot of them are free, some are paid. And uh, just so that way you're aware, I make it very clear. If it doesn't say anything about a fee, then it's paid, that it's free. Um, I always put at the top uh, $25, which is usually the cost, except for uh, the Zentangle Essentials class. I have that one at 15, uh, but it'll always say a dollar amount. Or if you're a club member, because uh, club members are uh, basically all access information is there as well, and um, enough self promotion. All right, with that. Thank you so much for watching and having fun with me. And I wish you happy tangling.